Hey everybody, welcome to back to some more Lost Vikings, and I'm your host, a reasonable gamer. All right, and um, man, this this level looks delicious. Oh, I just want to eat it. Okay, so you bounce Eric up to here, and you see three switches. As soon as you start to flip around, you also notice that there's platforms going all over the place. And eventually, you'll notice if you do this. The second one kind of stays still while the other ones alternate. That's your pattern right there. You're going to need that. That's important. Because these Vikings are going to go off to the other side. Like this and it's delicious candy canes. <laughs> oh, yummy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and we're going to have to go across this bridge. So Eric's going to help out with the switching while Baliog and Olaf go across the bridge kind of doing like the little trust <laughs> a, a big version of the trust fall here trust me guys okay oh I better be careful <laughs> so but that's all you have to do once you find out the I'm gonna call it the pivot point once you find that out you'll be okay all right, Olaf you want to float all the way over there and then turn around just like that so then belly can drop safely here take this guy out okay and then we go further on and there's a, a puncher it punches you and a pit <laughs> same thing so we're just gonna sit here and eat some candy while we navigate with Eric this part is gonna get a little tricky it's one of these parts I wanted to do first but in this in this part you know order kind of matters all right and what we're gonna do is just hang out here until we we're comfortable we can make this jump. Uh, go. Nope. Alright. Round two. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Wasn't confident. Wasn't confident. If, if you're not confident, I suggest just waiting for the next time and go. There we go. This time we got it. Okay. Another switch puzzle. See how you can barely see it right here? What I would do... Uh, I scoot them back a little bit. <laughs> It's kind of scooch these guys up, and then when it pans over, it'll be a little higher. So again, we have to find the right combination. There it is. There's our pivot point. So we're going to start with this one down, and then when they're on the second one, we flip it up. Just like that. I'm actually going to leave with Olaf and go with the shield up. Just like that. So we can block for Baliog. And then we flip the switch. Baliog can safely go first, and then Olaf can go next. As strong as that hand is in punching, can't punch through a shield. No sheree. Alright, and then we have all kinds of weird stuff going on over here. So what's all this about, right? It's another another switch puzzle. We got uh, some springs. I can grab that. Alright. I guess we're going to go and take Eric up here. Okay. And we'll also use that. Why not? Okay. Olaf, you're going to come over here. And Baliog. It doesn't matter if you bomb this now, but I recommend putting Baliog here, actually. And then we can use Olaf to drop the bomb there. There we go. And then Olaf is actually going to float down here. Bump that switch. And now we have a balloon, a balloon, a bubble. <laughs> and we can just get on this thing. Boop. All right. And what do we need? We need two keys. Olaf, I think your job here is done. So we're just going to have you kind of chill out there. You can hold yourself up there with one foot, I'm sure. That shouldn't be a problem. No, not at all. Oh, yeah. All right. Baliog. It's your turn to be the flip switcher. Switch. Switch flipper. Alright. So, okay, so we can see two now. Alright, there's two in the middle. Alright, so here, here we have two pivot points. We have one and two, two and three, three and four. So when Eric steps on two, we flip switch three, and then we switch flip switch one. Okay? So three, then one. Three, then one. Three, then one. Okay? So here we go. Three. Good. And then one. 
God. And now Eric can come over here. And I just realized that we are not quite done yet with Olaf. So Olaf has to jump on this elevator, actually. And I think it's easiest just to leave everybody on the elevator for now. Although, I, I guess in, in the end it doesn't truly matter. I am going to give this key over to Olaf. And maybe give this tomato over to Baliog. Just, you know, so he has more room in his inventory. And now we're going to float along over here. Don't hit the beams. That would be bad. But you do want this key. This is why I said keep the other Vikings on the val uh, on the elevator. See, so Olaf can't jump. It would be pretty handy if you could just lay your shield down, walk over, and then pick it back up again. But no, he can't do that either. So, instead, we'll bring the elevator back down. And then we'll switch to Olaf. Olaf's going to be the key master. I don't even think I need this bomb anymore. But, oh well. Alright, Bubbles, where are you? Alright, so I'm, I'm liable to accidentally drop the bomb. Nope. I got it all under control. There we go. Eric, you're next. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's what I get for trying to hustle. Let's go with Baliog first. There we go. <laughs> Man, I almost fell into the... You know what? That's a good question. What is this? Mud? Actually, I think it's supposed to be cola. Or some sort of soda. So... Oh no, I just thought of something terrible! How can you think of something terrible in a place like this? If we don't get home soon, we'll be late for supper! <laughs> yeah, but you have all that candy, so I guess it really doesn't matter, right? Oh, I had to take a drink of my club soda. Yep, I'm drinking club soda now. I think I mentioned before in a different... Um, episode that I've actually moved off of Red Bull and now I'm on Club Soda. So, okay, but anyway, we have a couple paths we can take, and I'm still not entirely sure which way I want to go first. I think Eric's is the hardest, so we're going to go with Eric. And grab this bomb. I don't really think you need it, but eh, why not? Doesn't hurt. Okay. So, I know I mentioned I love Eric because of the agility and being able to jump and stuff, but if you hate Eric, you will hate this part here. Alright, and then there's this 8-ball spitter. That's how I avoid that. Okay, so when you get here, do not go to the right. There's another 8-ball spitter, it's just like a, a death trap, so you don't want to do that. You want to go this way. And go to this death trap instead, because at least there's there's something positive at the end of it. Yep, Ziki. Now we go back this way and see that other ledge. Ledge. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Ready? Ooh, go! Oh, yeah. Do not go in the teleporter yet, though. Okay. That would be a big no-no. We want Olaf to go first. Olaf's is probably the second hardest one, if not the first. It's hard to really say one way or the other, because they're both pretty tough. And Olaf, we turn into a balloon. Maybe we can float up high enough to get that? Nah, it isn't really that important, so don't worry about it if you can't. All right, ready, nerves? Here we go. Man, does he really suck all that helium? Look at that. Oh, we made it. Okay. So there is a tomato up this way if you want it. I don't really think you need it, but if you want it, make sure you grab the smart bomb. Very important that you grab the smart bomb. Well, I should say semi-important. It makes it a lot easier if you grab the smart bomb. We'll put it that way. And now we grab Olaf's key, and then Olaf should actually be the one to go through the portal first. Okay? So it doesn't matter the order that you do this in. Olaf should go first. And this is where I would use the smart bomb. But if you don't have a smart bomb, it's fine. Um, you can then take Eric through the portal. And um, you could, you know, run your head into the guy until he's gone. So, you know, that works too. 
Um, I don't know if it's much of a spoiler, but Baliog's eventually going to appear here too, so Baliog could probably take him out too. Either way you want to go. Okay? Alright, Baliog's path I think is the easiest. This part here, probably the hardest. But after you get past that, <laughs> you're pretty much golden. And I'll show you why. There's a couple tricks. Right here is tricky. So, this, this part might hold you up a bit. What I try to do is get this guy stuck on the hill right here. Because he'll shoot over you. See how that works? That, not too hard once you can get him stuck on the hill. After that, it's a little bit harder. But if you can get stuck sword swiping on the conveyor belt, you'll be just fine. You also get... Um, a lot of vegetables, so that's not bad either. Alright. I would say this part's hard too, but just don't miss the platform. And you have as many shots as you want. And once you do it, good to go. Grab your key through the portal. Nothing to it, huh? Nothing to it. Alright. So we'll stick Baliog's key in and let's get out of here. The wallpaper in here is awfully strange. What do you think, Olaf? Anyone for a quick game of checkers? <laughs> oh, checkers. <laughs> You're so crafty. Ah. Uh, Turder. Turong, don't read. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But this is going to be another confusing, puzzling one that I... Honestly, I can't wait to get my hands on. I love these ones. But that'll have to wait until the next video. Hopefully our Vikings will be going home soon. But until then, bye-bye.